Welcome to the Officer Autumn Podcast. I am the host, Autumn Clifford. I'm really excited to have you here as always. If you are enjoying this music or if it's piquing your interest, this is music by One Time Music. Go find him on Instagram. You can go download his music anywhere that you can download music. He is a fellow law enforcement officer. You can listen to the entire song of Baptized in Blue at the end of this podcast episode. This podcast episode is brought to you by the Lady Sheepdog Club. If you are a female first responder craving more education, more training, more support, uh, more mentorship, or you are a future first responder, check out the Lady Sheepdog Club. It's a membership for designed exactly for our women going into law enforcement or who are in law enforcement. Go to ladysheepdog.com for more information. Enjoy this podcast episode. Stop trying so hard to fit in. That's what we're going to be talking about today. It's a it's a big thing amongst um, women first responders in you know in our jobs because it's male dominated. And I want to talk about it because it actually leads to a lot of problems. Now. I want you to take a few minutes and I want you to really self-reflect with me. This is this is big. And if you've been with me for any amount of time, you know that I don't like to just talk in your ear. I want you to self-reflect with me and I want you to be very clear um, on you. Because this, this podcast, I'm making it, but for me, it's really about you. I want you to grow. I want you to learn. So don't just be listening to this and not doing the work. Okay, so I want you to sit and I want you to ask yourself if you try too hard to fit in. And here I'm going to share with you what that might look like. So I see um, a lot of female officers like they'll do a bunch of cooking all the time. They will bake cupcakes and cookies and breads and they will bring it in all the time. Like not just like once in a while, but like consistently. And some of them, that's their personality. But then when you stack that on top of being a yes man, meaning you, you're going to go do everyone's errands for them. Okay. I'm, I'm not making this shit up. You're going to bend over backwards for absolutely everybody because you want everyone to like you. You're going to tiptoe the line on doing things that are borderline, like they just don't feel good to you. You um, might get spoken to in ways that you feel very disrespected, but you don't say anything because you're like, if I say something, then they're not going to like me and I want to be liked. And the woman who tends to try too hard, she tends to be very um, repulsive to anybody who is not insecure and who sees through the bullshit. So I want you to remember that insecure people love love people who kiss their ass. That's the truth because it makes them feel good. It strokes their ego. We all know of people who are insecure. We all know of people who like their ego stroked. But the real ones, you know, they're the people who they don't like kiss asses. And they sure as fuck aren't one themselves. And they're not insecure. They're good with who, are, who they are. So when they see people, you know, trying too hard and they're schmoozing and they're sucking up and they're, it's just being, it's like beyond over the top. They don't like that. Now, listen, I'm not telling you to be a bitch. I'm not telling you to not be nice. That's not it. But there's this fine line of a balance you know, we, we struggle with fitting in, obviously. And honestly, that's a cultural thing. Like, that's a cultural thing. And believe me, don't think I'm not, like, addressing that. And don't think I, you know, don't have episodes and videos in the pipeline for men about how to fucking treat us. I don't want you to think I don't have that coming. But my job right now is to teach you how to thrive in this job, okay? And so if you're trying too hard... If you are just way over the top, smiling, happy all the fucking time to the point that it's fake and you're just taking shit from people and you're like going way out of your way to do all the things, um, 
for everybody else, then you, my friend, need to take a step back. I want you to ask yourself if that's you. On the inside, what are your thoughts? Because here's the deal. It's like, have you ever seen somebody try so hard that you want to fucking punch them in the face? And I'm not talking about like try hard as far as like try really hard at a sport. Try really hard at shoot, being like proficient and good with your gun. Try really hard in like um, boxing, kickboxing, jujitsu, you know, or anything like that. That's not what I'm talking about. Like always try really hard at like physical things. But I mean like the person who is trying so hard to get everybody to like them. Here's the truth. Not everybody's going to like you, sis. They're just not. They're just not. And and I think the first step is for you to be okay with that. People are going to like you just because you're the female. Like they, that, They're not going to like you because of that. I have run into that all the time. They're not going to like you because you're a strong female. I run into that all the fucking time. And so you have to ask yourself, like, what am I here for? And what am I here to do? Am I here to be liked? Because in, in listen, this isn't condescending and there's no right or wrong answer to this. This is self-awareness. If you, uh, you thrive on being liked and fitting in, then this probably is not going to be the job for you or you need to go find a police department and they're out there with large amounts of females, okay? But if you are not in that police department, if you are in a police department that is literally still back in the fucking 1800s and we're fighting fucking for gender equality here, you know, then you have a decision to make. The biggest thing I need you to know and like in every message that I give you, it's you're never the victim. You're never stuck and stop taking on victim mentality. Because we as women tend to do that a lot. And men do too. Like everybody tends to do it. It's not just we as women. Because like Lord knows I get really fucking fed up with (laughs) everybody going into victim mentality. Men and women. But like we can, you know, the job is hard for us. And we don't really fit in um, a lot of the times. Or it's a struggle. Or it's a struggle to find that place, right? And... um. And so we kind of get down on ourselves and nobody likes me and I'm never going to fit in and there's something wrong with me. But I want to tell you the truth is it's none of that. There's nothing wrong with you. Nothing. And it's just that you either could be trying too hard, which I'm telling you to stop trying so hard. And so like, what does that look like? Well, it just looks like being okay with who you are, being really kind and courteous and trying hard at the job. And be really good backup and be a good person. Shut your fucking mouth. There's no talking shit about anybody. We're not talking back to our supervisors. If there's something inappropriate that's happening, you need to pull people to the side privately, never publicly, okay? I'm telling you from experience, publicly is going to get you more bullied. It's going to get the boy, the boys are all going to group together and you're going to feel outcasted. You need to pull whoever is causing you a problem to the side privately and address it like that. You know, <clears throat> And then, you know, be self-aware enough to know again, like, is this a good fit for me from where I'm working? So many times, like, we think that we're stuck at our police departments. And I'm here to tell you, you are in a time right now, you are not stuck, number one. And number two, if you are even just the slightest bit squared away, you are a gem. You know, we need more women in law enforcement. We only make up 12%. That's it. 12% of the full-time law enforcement officers across the country in the U.S. And so we need you. Police departments need you. But that doesn't mean you need to go and like go to the police department that's never had a female with a very old school chief. Like I, 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 I don't recommend that. I do not recommend that. Doesn't mean like if you've got a progressive chief who's extremely open, who like recruits you and is like, I want you you're going to help me, you know, we're going to navigate this together and it's a really good thing, then that's one thing, okay? But it is incredibly hard to be the first female. Um, If you have an old school chief, if you have a culture who does not believe that women belong in law enforcement and there are that, there are that. The best thing you can do is you can develop your skills. Like I've been talking and preaching, you know, you need to go and take Brazilian jiu-jitsu or you need to take boxing or you need to take kickboxing like go learn how to get punched go learn how to take a punch learn how to 
you know, use your body weight to manipulate and maneuver people in jujitsu. It's that those are real. And I'm seeing more and more videos of that's really saving officers because we're in a day and age where like you cannot use excessive force even by mistake at all, period. And to be honest with you, we shouldn't be. There's no, there's no fucking need of it, really. You have so many tools at your disposal and, and, and those things matter. Those things matter. People do not. They, they love to fucking skip when I say this stuff. Like, and I don't think I'm better. I just want to say this. Like, yes, I'm a second degree black belt. Yes, I've been in uh, martial arts since I've been five. I have a, quite of a different attitude than the majority of women in law enforcement because I've, listen, I have been fucking punched in the face so many times, kicked in the fucking head. I have seen the light more fucking times by the time I was 15 years old than a lot of people, okay? I have fought big fucking dudes. I've been in school fights. Now, you know, obviously throughout my career, I was in many, uh, you know, uh, hand-to-hand situations um, on the road. And I just handle it differently. And that matters because the guys are always watching. Even if, I want you to hear me, okay, even if you are a girl who's always in the fight with them, right, and and you're going to understand what I mean by that, if you're always there with them, but you're a fucking mess, that, that doesn't help, that doesn't help. If you, you know, you, you you think that helps because you're like, no, I'm going to be there and like, this is how I need to, like, this is what the guys would do, but you're being scrutinized because you're already underestimated and if you don't have your shit together and you and you really don't know how to, you know, maneuver bodies, and you don't understand, you know, how to, if someone's stronger than you, you don't understand, like, where to, um, like, maneuver their arms or legs to help, you know, affect the arrest, they are looking at that. (laughs) If you cannot be calm in high-stress situations, they are looking at that, okay? And I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm perfect. I mean, I've I've been, I mean, I've never been one. My overreacting would be like, let's fight, right? Like I was, you you would never catch me screaming. You would never catch me like freaking the fuck out. But, but that, but you have to understand that's because I have been training since I was five years old. And when I tell you like training, like I sat down high school basketball to get my black belt and that killed me. I'm not going to lie. Like that fucking killed me. But I was training, you know, anywhere between three to five days a week, you know, when I was 13 years old and um, get my black belt. uh, I was, I think it was the day before my 17th birthday and I worked my ass off for that. And that is what it taught me. Like I couldn't be freaking out when I'm getting, I'm in a two or two on one or three on one situation. Like I had to work through the problem. I think we don't have a lot of that today. We're not working through fucking problems. We're just immediately getting emotional because we have a lot of pressures, but I'm telling you, you need to take it back. Okay. These are the ways that we, we do fit in is when we're calm. Okay. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that all men officers are calm. No, they're fucking not. No, they're not. There's some of them, but I'm telling you to find the squared away officer and look up to that officer, male or female. And I don't care who it is, but that is what I'm training you to be is that. Not necessarily, and I want you to understand, I'm not sitting here telling you that you're a mess. I'm just teaching you to be better. That's it. Having the hard conversations, conversations nobody else is having, and it may seem like I'm, you know, sexist. I've been called that, but I'm very much not. I'm extremely about empowerment, men empowerment and women's empowerment, but right now I'm teaching you as a woman, how to be the best officer you can possibly be. And I'm going to tell you this whole idea of going over the top so that you can fit in is a problem because you are going to stand out. I um, recently have created a training. I'm excited to tell you guys more about it. I have a a really cool opportunity to um, train females all across the country. And when I can make that public and give you more examples, I will. Um, more details, not examples. <laughs> but in there, I have a quote and it says, um, fit in with how you look and how you act, but stand out by how you do your job. And that, I put that in the email. I don't know if you're on my email list. If you're not, then you're going to want to get on that, which is going to be the link down um, in my show notes. 
you'll be able to grab it. You want to get on that email list with some free trainings. Um, we have an amazing five day, uh, it's called the come straight ready challenge. It's truly one of the most comprehensive trainings. It's fucking $27. You're never going to find a better training for $27 promise. It's so good. It's designed for female cops. Um, and so you click on that and you can get in, get in because weekly I send out a, um, I, you would call it a newsletter, but for me, it's like straight from my heart email to you about what I feel like. I sit down and I ask God slash the universe. I'm like, okay, what does she need to hear from me? And that is what comes out. And that's what the email is. And yesterday I sent out an email and it had that quote on it. And I kind of go off a little bit on this subject. And, um, very meaningful. I had a lot of feedback on it. It's very meaningful because, We don't even realize that we're going over the top because all we're trying to do, honestly, is trying to survive. That's all we're trying to do. And it, you know, it it becomes very repulsive. You know, I was, I have a, if you guys aren't in the, um, my, I have a membership for female cops. And if it's something that you're interested in, um, you know, you obviously have a mentor, i.e. me. Um, but then you have hours of, uh, training. We do once a month group calls. You have a 24 seven group chat with these women, the networking available, like it's just unbelievable because we have cops from all over the country plus Canada. Um, If you're trying to be a cop, this is also a great community because the women are so supportive. And the reason I'm really big on this is because last night I had a call with those girls. And um, and if you want to join, the link's going to be right below too. Uh, So anyways, um, I had a call with the club girls and they were talking, someone kind of brought up like how that there's another woman um, at her police department and she's like 10 years, she's got like 10 years on the road more than this girl. And, um, but she's not nice to this, to this girl. And she's in this young girl. She has like, I think like, I don't know, I want to say like five or eight years on the road, but this other girl's got more years on the road and she's just not nice. And, and here's the thing. This is what we see. I saw this. Oh man, I dealt with this so much. You would think that like us women would stick together, but we're not. And the, and the reason is, is because women have had to fight so fucking hard to be treated equally that we're like, kind of, we get territorial about things and I'm not shitting on anybody here. Here's my whole belief on that. I think that we see women fucking posting these fucking social media posts that are just absolutely awful. One in uniform, one in a bikini, side by side. We have, you know, people using, you know, obviously I use Officer Autumn as a brand because I'm a mentor to female cops. It's a business. It's always been a business. Everything I've done prior to this, I had a handle called Lady Sheepdog and I've always been a business. I've always been out here trying to help cops period the end my social media has never been about me but that is not what I see out there I don't see officers using officer blah 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 for to help others I mean we have Mike the cop who is an officer Daniels and like I know officer Tatum and stuff like the the bigger people like they're out there and they're they are really trying to do things you know Mike the cop does human humanizing the badge and he he's out there doing his thing but like by and large when you just go click on like the hashtag female cops which I highly suggest you do or Lady Leo, or Lady Officer, Mrs. Officer, all these things. Um, All I see truly are women with their hair down in uniform or long ponytails. I see a lot of um, long, long nails. And I'm not, listen, you guys know, I love, I love fake nails. Like I love them. But there's, there's a way to have them so that they look clean and crisp. But it's really not about having the the Cardi B nails. Like we can't be having those on duty. Um, I see a lot of that. Um, I see a lot of makeup to the point where it's rubbing off on uniforms. That's a problem. The girls with like the tan uniforms, like the light tan ones are, they obviously have it the best because (laughs) you can't see if the makeup rubs off on there. Um, if you have like, like that kind of skin, you know what I mean? Um, but so, you know, that is all not good. That is all completely unprofessional. Plus, you know, we have women making TikToks bitching about the job. 
uh, like making fun of different things about the job and like the public sees that and it's one thing if it's just a bunch of cops like because we get it right but like and here's at the end of the day plus you know what I was just going off on about women like really trying really hard to bust other women's balls or women who've been around for a while what I want to say is this is I just believe it's from a complete lack of leadership period, the end, all across the culture. And that's really what I'm trying to change here. Because if we all just knew, if like, if somebody was just teaching other women how to act and how to, you know, do, thrive in this job, we'd be a lot better off. But there is none. And there's none at our police departments. I mean, men kind of get held to this standard as this is what we need you to look like. This is what we need you to act like. Because you have generations, like you have the chief and the police, like the deputy chief and maybe the major and the lieutenants and the sergeants, like, and, and the majority of them are men. And so you kind of see what is successful at your police department. And then what do you do? You mimic that. Well, for women... That isn't so much the case. I'm not saying that there's not. I do know that there are some female police chiefs. I know that there are some females up in the ranks. But by and large, across the country, that is not, um, that is rare. It just is. Okay. And so women are like, well, who, what do I do? And so then what do we do? We look online and we and we don't even realize. I don't think that anybody is consciously like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what this one does. But but we do, we do it and we, and we're like, oh, they have a bunch of likes. Oh, they have a huge following. Okay. I'm going to do this. You know, I want to keep my feminine side. And so I guess this is what it looks like. And that it's not correct. It's highly unprofessional. You are not highly regarded. You are not well-respected and you can tell yourself you are, but I'm telling you right now that the guys at your police department, what they're doing and saying behind your back and maybe not even your PD, but the PD surrounding you when they go and look on your social media and it's nothing but tits and ass and you in bathing suits and you in your underwear and this and fucking that, you are not fitting in. And so at the end of the day, I'm not saying it's your fault and I'm not saying it's any one of their girls' fault. I totally took that position several years ago. You can go on my social media, go look at like old posts and I was just crushing <laughs> crushing the Instagram models for of uh, female cops. Like, I mean, I didn't care. And uh, I pissed a lot of them off. Like, th- me would, like, fucking... I had, like, 3,000 followers at the time and, like, these big pages, which I will not tell you who they are, but you know them, just so you know. Y- you know them. But they would have... They had over 100,000 followers and their... One was a former, quote-unquote, former uh, female cop. One is, I guess, supposedly a female cop. Um, and they fucking crushed me. They would, they would, they showed up in my DMs and this and that. And it was because I hit a bone. I I hit a bone. I hit like a nerve is what I meant to say. I hit a nerve because they didn't have mentors. They didn't have someone that would teach them how to be well respected on the road. They were just trying to fit in. They're trying to make a name for themselves. They're trying to be liked. And in a day and age where sex sells, right, um, this is where we're going. And my suggestion, if you are anything like me or if you have any, if you like anything I have to say, this is the biggest thing that I can tell you is that's not what we do to fit in. Um, I'm not telling you you can't be a woman. I'm not telling you that you can't be sexy as hell off duty. I'm telling you you need to pay attention to what you're posting and you need to pay attention to what you're fucking doing. Um, you know, you are a cop, you signed up for this. And yes, we are held to higher standards. It's just the way that it is. I'm not saying that every once in a while you can't throw a picture up to let people know what the fuck's going on. I'm not saying that you can't do that every now and again and let people know, hey, I'm still a fucking woman and I can do both and I'm fucking banging, right? That I'm not saying you can't do that. But picture after picture after picture after picture after picture of fucking nothing but tits and ass you're not going to fit in because that's what all the guys are going to talk about. And I'm not telling you it's right. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm telling you it's a fact and that's what's going to happen. So if you want to fit in, I want you to go back and I want you to listen to everything I had to say about that. If you want more help on this, I have that five-day 
challenge. It's 27 bucks. You can get a link below. You'll love it. I've got some free trainings. I've got like a squared away training. I've got an academy checklist. You can get those. Those are both for free. Um, there's, I've got like over 160 episodes on this podcast. You can definitely binge that. You can come into my membership, uh, my Lady Cop men- membership site. Um, that's really good. It is currently known as the Lady Sheepdog Club, but I think that's going to be changing because we have some really exciting things coming up. Um, So you can click on that, and uh, that's really going to give you a lot of help. Um, Yeah, and if you guys have questions, um, you can email me, autumn at autumnclifford.com. You can reach out to me on the socials. I'm Officer Autumn on Instagram and TikTok. TikTok's blowing up quite well, um, so that's good. I do a lot of you know, I do a lot of videos and reels on Instagram too, but their algorithm hates me over there. So, you know, um, and by the way, listen up, if you haven't checked out honor the brave, you need to go check out that, uh, Instagram handle. And I'm going to tell you why, because all they, it's, it's a, um, a medically retired police officer and his wife, but what they did, here's what, here's the thing. You buy nothing. There's no money that you have to dish out. In fact, that they started this uh, program where they actually give back to us as the first responders in any capacity or military that involves corrections, you know, EMTs, probation, doesn't matter. When you buy or sell a house, they're giving money, they're putting money, they're giving you like five to, or 10% back. Like it's insane. It's amazing. So you want to know about them. Um, I love being affiliated with them. They are a great resource. The link will be right below so that you can check out their website, but make sure you go and follow them. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. I hope that this was educational. They bear me in the water and I came, I knew. <laughs> now I'm baptized in blue. I'm a fighter. I'm a never quit. I refuse. I got heart and I got gritty, I'm a warrior Just been baptized in blue I'm a warrior Just been baptized in blue I'm a fighter Ain't no green screen movie, don't compare the two We look at your actions in the elements And everything relevant If they line up, prepare to pay the consequence You do dirt, you get cuffs, no bluff It's ignorant to think we will shoot with your hands up If you the police, you feel the world is against you Like every call you go to, people trying to tempt you Well, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary I ride on the devil, I ain't scary And I ain't worried my life come take it it's gonna be a fight i take it to the light like will and bright i wouldn't expect you to understand what i do only the damn blue light cause they baptized in blue oh uh. i'm a fighter i'm a winner never quit i refuse to lose i got heart and i got gritty i'm a warrior just been baptized in blue i'm a warrior just been baptized in blue i'm a fighter See your name on the wall All I feel is rage Put me in a cage Let me brawl Sometimes I can't help but cry Like why did he die? I know it was him But it could have been I What about the kids? Uh, what about the spouse? Yeah, now who gon' put food Inside them babies' mouth? It's a bigger picture When the officer down Domino effect Blue Nation family Country and town The media don't cover us huh. Well maybe Fox Cause MSNBC and CNN Surely don't care about cops Politician more concerned About protecting the legal Instead of laying the law down And protecting the people Let me get off my soapbox Before I curse I don't see way too many cops Riding in hearse Well I wouldn't expect you to understand What I do Only the thin blue light Cause they baptized <laughs> Blue. Uh, I'm a fighter, I'm a winner, never quit, I refuse to lose I got heart and I got gritty, I'm a warrior Just been baptized in blue, I'm a warrior Just been baptized in blue I'm a fighter If I'm faced 
with a mission I'm gonna complete it If that means being deleted I live with the credence I do this for the combat That's the LEOs When I'm suited, ready to go It's either friend or foe Only Lord knows when my future's in store I only kill with the hope to see more So God don't close that door If I take a life, it's him or me with the host to survive, not be a good tree. I go in situations that you cannot imagine. Deal with things that you cannot fathom. No, it but a rather. I'd rather fight for a cause than live for nothing. So when you read my head, don't you know I died for something? You hypersensitive, she complain by justified force. You blame the cops first, that don't work, you blame the courts. But I wouldn't expect you to understand what I do. Only the thin blue line, cause they baptized in blue. Oh, I'm a fighter. I'm a I never quit, I refuse to lose I got heart and I got gravy, I'm a warrior That's been baptized in blue I'm a warrior, that's been baptized in blue I'm a fighter, never win or never quit I refuse to lose I got heart and I got gravy, I'm a warrior That's been baptized in blue I'm a warrior, that's been baptized in blue uh.